There are not a lot of changes happening in the housing market right now. Buyers and sellers appear to be in a holding pattern, waiting for a sign before making a move. Here's your sign and this month's real estate market update. Interest rates have been hovering in the high 6% and low 7% range for the last three months, keeping many buyers on the sidelines and sellers reluctant to give up their lower rates on their existing mortgages. Buyer activity, measured by listings under contract, is down significantly from, from normal for this time of year and seller activity, measured by new listings, is down even further below normal. This ratio between supply and demand is keeping Greater Phoenix in a seller's market, but it's mild compared to the last three years. A seller's market causes upward pressure on price and the annual appreciation rate, though down last year is expected to turn positive and may return to pre-pandemic levels similar to 2018 and 2019, which saw annual appreciation rates between five and 8% on average. There is some good news for buyers. The last few months of the year is typically the best time to be a buyer in Greater Phoenix. After June, buyer competition declines until the end of the year and gives buyers a little less competition and more to choose from. For sellers, days on market prior to contract have been holding steady for the past two months at around 21 days. Also holding steady, around 40% of closings involve seller-assisted closing costs with the median cost to the seller at around $8,000. In a normal market, about 18% of homes sell over asking price. Right now, we're seeing about 23% selling over asking, and mostly for homes priced under $600,000. The latest employment report for Arizona shows our labor force continues to grow faster than the U.S. growth rate. The unemployment rate is the lowest it's been in Arizona since 2007. Our diverse employment base and positive economic indicators in the Valley continue to support price stability for housing and appreciation of home values, even though the number of transactions is down. The Fed meets again at the end of September. Here's hoping they make some decisions that start a downturn in interest rates to shake the market out of its current doldrums. Despite the doldrums, there are opportunities for both buyers and sellers. If you want more information about your opportunities in today's market, please give me a call. I am Kathleen Mulligan with Realty One Group, and I want you to love where you live.